Hi, Chris Campbell here, and in this video I'd like to talk to you about what you should do when a girl stops responding to your text messages. Now if your girlfriend's broken up with you, or she's pulled away from you, she's going cold on you, there's a very good chance that she's not responding to your messages like she did before. Remember when you first meet a girl and it's all very sweet and it's all very interesting and the communication is going back and forth, back and forth and you're both really into each other. You, you message her, she messages you straight away and you really look forward to receiving a message from her and she also really wants to hear from you. But now you suddenly feel like your girlfriend's pulled away from you, she's not responding to your messages. How do you deal with this? A lot of guys make the mistake of messaging the girl even more, but this is a huge, huge mistake. You essentially need to back away. If she stops responding, you stop responding. If she responds to you, you respond back to her. Now, in the pickup community, there's a lot of talk about dread game. You run dread game on a girl. When she pisses you off, she upsets you, or she stops responding to your messages. And it's really effective to run dread game, which is essentially where you pull away from the girl completely now, a dread game works like this. When a girl stops responding to your messages, or she acts moody, or bitchy, or disrespectful, you pull back, you withdraw contact, you withdraw all forms of communication until she corrects her attitude and gets back in touch with you. A girl doesn't respond to you for two days, you don't respond for a week or two weeks. I mean, it works like that, and some guys use this too much, and you can overuse it. Now, a lot of guys run dread game the wrong way. They think, I'm gonna punish this girl, I'm gonna make sure that she regrets not contacting me, I'm gonna cut her off, I'm not gonna answer her messages for a long time, I'm gonna sulk, I'm gonna be moody. Don't do that, because you're essentially showing her that you're petulant, you're moody, and you're sulky, and this also displays weakness. So what you need to do when a girl doesn't text you or message you, let her message you back, and then don't respond for a little bit, and then let her message you again, and then you can respond. And if she doesn't respond back to you, she sends you a message, she asks how you're doing, then you can get back to her. But you always need to be pursuing the date, you need to be pursuing the interaction. If she's trying to talk to you by text message, she wants to have long conversations over text message, kill it. It doesn't make any sense. You don't need to be communicating with a girl on the phone because it's not going anywhere. Unless you're setting up the date, unless you're trying to meet her, then there's no point messaging a girl. Talk a little bit, have a few exchanges, and then say, hey, look, I'd really love to see you. When can we meet up? And if she says, oh, I'm kind of busy, just let it go. Now, you might find the girls just want to talk to you on the phone. They want to send you messages. They want to go through these endless you know, conversations, and it's just a waste of time. Just say to the girl, hey, how's it going? What are you up to? Send a message like that, then she'll respond back, and then just say, hey, let's meet up. I want to see you. And if she says, oh, I'm kind of busy right now, just respond back to her and say, look, when you're not busy, let me know. If she responds back to that message, looking for more chit-chat, just ignore it. And then when she gets back to you and says, hey, I'm actually free on this date, then you can arrange to meet up with her. But you don't want to get stuck in the trap of endless messaging, endless messaging, because it just goes nowhere and then the girl pulls away from you, she gets bored, and then suddenly she doesn't respond to your messages because you're not taking it anywhere. You're not leading the girl the right way. And a woman doesn't want to be messaging on the phone all the time, two, three hour conversations. I've been there, I've done that. Fucking waste of time. It doesn't go anywhere. Meet up with a girl in person. That's where things happen. You really need to be doing things face to face. Look, I'm not an online guy. I, I've never done online dating. I don't believe in it. I believe you should go out into the world and meet women and see them first and interact with girls the natural way because if you're not doing that, you can't see what you're getting. It doesn't make sense to me. And women, when they're online, they're on this shit like Tinder and they're on these dating websites. I mean, honestly, they've got like a thousand guys on there who are just showing them interest. I mean, they're just dickhead guys, beta guys. And it's not going to go anywhere because women basically, they don't value men on these sites. They've got no value. These men are generally seen as being weaker because they don't go out into the world and approach women the right way, the natural way. And I really encourage you to start meeting girls and interacting with women in a natural environment. And this applies to dating girls too. You don't want to be communicating digi digitally with them because it's just fucked up. It doesn't make sense. Talking to a girl on the computer, messaging for hours, texting, calling. 
Little conversations are fine. You don't want to stretch it out into your main form of communication. You want to be doing face to face where you can touch a girl, you can have eye contact, you can see how she's reacting to you, and this is going to generate real interest. If she's just talking to you digitally, it's just not going to inspire any kind of attraction in the girl. You know, I saw my、uh, friend, he just got ripped apart recently. He was dating this girl online. And then when she eventually saw him, she was just like, oh, that's it. I thought you'd be better. And she built up this fantasy in her head. It's complete bullshit. Now, the take home message here is not about online dating or talking digitally. It's about what happens when you do this and girls pull away from you and they just lose interest. You don't want a girl to lose interest in you because you're texting her all the time. And if she stops responding to your text messages, just let her go. And then when she comes back to you, just simply say, Hey, look, I'd love to meet up with you. When are you free to meet up? And then if she says, Okay, I'm free on this day, arrange the date and meet the girl in person. It's really important that you do this. And if you've got an ex girlfriend, she's trying to friend zone you and she's basically pulling away from you slowly, cut contact, let her come back to you. Never chase the girl, remember that. Let her chase after you. Now, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Just go to my website and send me an email. It's the easiest way. I really read every single email I get, but I just can't respond to everyone because I just don't have enough time. So, if you want an urgent response, you want me to help you fix a relationship problem, get your girlfriend back, re attract a girl, then I really recommend that you book a Skype or email consultation with me. You can do that through the link below this video. And if you found this information useful, please don't hesitate to send through a small donation. It really just helps me to keep on creating free content for you guys. You can find a donation link below this video too. See you next time.